What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh hello. I am willing to negotiate. Alright, hey guys and gals, and welcome to Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. It's Dervell with Mad Fert Studios. Uh, this game dropped unexpectedly. I was not expecting it to come out until Wednesday this week, and it came out today. Or Tuesday. It was supposed to come out tomorrow, and it came out today. So this is the second time this game has kind of screwed up my schedule. The first time it came out, or was supposed to come out, and I think October or November, and then it got delayed. So it came out, uh, and I guess this week in February. The reason it, it messed with my schedule for the second time is the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl last night, and I am a little bit hungover. We we made quite merry after after winning over the 49ers again. Uh, that was a beautiful thing to watch. <laughs> so in this game, you're playing as a Scottish American immigrant and uh, his lover who are banishers who take care of malevolent spirits. So this is kind of like the Witcher if it was set in the real world. And uh, it, it looks gorgeous. I haven't even gotten to the game yet. So let's do this. Oh. Please tell me they're not using the N word. The difficulty modifies enemy damage, enemy health points, amount of decoctions, timing of exploration puzzles. Let's just do normal. That's an abandoned Wicked Witch's Cottage. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. You're about to be dreaming of something else. In the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <laughs> I'm serious. 
If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Oh. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. Is our client dead? I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Oh, we gotta change that up. Oh, there's a photo mode. Guy weedy of Okay, still gotta fix that. Thank fuck there's a photo mode. That makes, uh... Makes doing thumbnails a lot easier. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Also a little too dark. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Uh, another s teacher that seduced her students. Did he limbo under that? I don't know what that was. I probably shouldn't have used it. Sure. 
Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Did that not? It only did it on the. Okay. Okay, there we go. Looks steady enough. Watch out! Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? It's just Keep you. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Mm. I can break my way through here. I would have made it so when you go through those tighter areas, it just automatically does instead of you having to push the button. Mm -hmm. Makes it flow a little better. That I thought that was something I could jump over. Something growling over here. You do not belong here. Back to your grave, corpse. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? I'm really excited. The The studio that made this one is the same one who did Plague's Tale. And uh, the developers themselves also did Vampire, which I'm playing a little bit later in the year on the channel. They've had a lot of work working with rats. Plague's Tale Requiem on the channel. Please watch it. It did not do well. Oh, more wonders. Behind you. Well, that was kind of cool. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Fallen off many of those, have you? Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. What's in here? <laughs> banishment. Attacking with your weapons fills the banish gauge. When the banish gauge is full, press A to banish your target. Time to leave for good. Oh! There's block. Leather, green dust, off these moldy old bones.
Back to hell with you. That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I really like the costume designs in this. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Other times, selectmen sit on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? That way to Boston, Fort Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet. Uh, I guess that's for people that are in other languages. New Eden. Kind of an ironic name. You're welcome in committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll oh, that's so spooky. I love it. Again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. Oh yeah, it's 1695. Uh, mixed marriages were were not were not really looked well upon. Doomsday has come. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is gold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. Oh. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? Oh, Sorry out with it, man. Loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. <sighs> Look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here. Doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. 
Then I shall leave you and your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. So far, the opening of this game reminds me quite a bit of, uh, of uh, Tim Burton's version of Sleepy Hollow. It's got that same kind of uh, hammer horror film kind of look to it. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty... <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss his investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. 
You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. Kind of curious what who the banishers are aligned with. Pyrite, in the sense that uh, a lot of religious orders or exorcists go to Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. We're part of the Catholic Church, but most of the most of the New World colonies had more. We're more Protestant than anything. Did I go the wrong way? Error BM map. I think I went around. That's dodge. There is no jump button. Yeah, I just walked right past it. Andrea, Red. Oh, that poor woman. Come in. I've barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you. His friends. 
but that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. You've unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about a person that's linked to... For the hints in any haunting cases. Okay, here we go. Mystery time. Wrong menu. Understand why Charles lingers. Investigate the study. Investigate the bedroom. Ooh. A new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. There's a lot of books. What would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. Don't want to bother you. Oh. I don't have much, but promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. She's quite the musician. I played guitar and I, I uh, did trumpet, but I never really got into music theory. Oh, she's rereading old letters. Oh, she'd go upstairs. That's probably where the study and the bedroom are. 
Yeah, she's rereading old love letters. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Or Macarius? None on this side of the water, if you know that it came to New Eden as minister. Half of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's stole. I expect there to be witches. Oh, no. Not one of those. We get blamed for fucking everything for these, from these people. Death for the dead. Scribbled Bible verses. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions, foreshadowing, is someone behind this? Who is the real target? I need to know how it gets in our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest, and this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Hmm. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Fun fact, uh, one of the reasons powdered wigs took off, especially amongst the wealthy, was to hide their syphilis. Because the, the treatments for syphilis at the time often made your hair fall out. Enough books, Charles. See, the piano is not the only thing you paid a pretty penny to ship. What's that? Oh, that's pretty. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. Could not attend the burial. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found.
Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. Oh, those eyes look. I'm pretty sure it's candle reflection, but oof, that's a little creepy. What will you do for my Charles? Send him to his rest. If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Will you be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Sincere Paris? I'm going the right way. I'd say this place is a dump, but that's a disrespect to the dumps. The docks are closed for sabotage by fire. Trade the Boston, Marblehead, and Salem is cut off until the saboteur is caught. More rats. Amicia! Get my slingshot. Pieces of eight? Yeah. Okay, what be the wisp for? Wisp. So close to town. Hey, I was right. Cemetery is closed. I, I guess I read that. I'm trying to enter. Where are you leading me? Get up, girl. No one is safe here. Striped wintergreen. Oh, my breath will be nice and fresh. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Oof, fungus. Oh, can't go that way.
As a banisher, you can fill places in, or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity, these elements, your bane rings will be triggered. Walk around to find the source. Okay, so that explains why my fist is glowing. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. Oh, nope, my, my fist stopped glowing. Oh, that ain't it either. memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Memories of the dead linger here. To reveal them, you must gather the necessary resources. I need a seashore candle. If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashore candle, that might do it. Okay, so where are seashore candles? Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? I can't go that way. Hoygen and Moygen are here. See short candles. Let's grab a bunch just on the safe side. That is spooky. That's like something out of HP Lovecraft. Oh, what is that? Okay, that hurt a lot. Can I make anything yet? I'm pretty sure it'll show me how to make the decoctions. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. So many dead. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. This ritual helps one to tune into a fading but persistent memory left by a lingering ghost. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... <laughs> Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. 
Be gone. You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> Whoa. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Banshee? Oh, press the wrong button. Charles's Bible, half found, half buried in the mud. This tie is doused with the essence of Charles' ghost after a closure performed by Antea. The bond between the ghosts and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Do we have to fight his ghost, or do we just tell him he's dead and move on? It's a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. I love that confidence. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, Ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea. Here. At last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Hmm. 
Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. What's a nightmare? I thought nightmares were a myth. A nightmare is I know a what a nightmare is. I'm just wondering what their nightmare is. A powerful, insidious <clears throat> spirit, birthed by tragedy most dreadful. How do I banish it? There is meager wisdom in the texts. What little there is says it cannot be banished at all. If it's a ghost, I can banish it. You took notes, I suppose? Where might I find them? They vanished <laughs> in the days before my death. Perhaps I mislaid them, which is not like me. If you find them, read them carefully. Perhaps I missed something, something important. We'll banish it, Red and I. Our good friend's death shall not go unpunished. Be warned. This nightmare is too angry to be persuaded. And too powerful to be destroyed. Oh, I like Your a good death challenge. It pains us greatly. Your return pains me too. I know. For my part, I'm glad to have seen you one last time. To have had the chance to warn you. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. How does its malevolence manifest? It poisons minds and sickens bodies. It draws spectres to it and sours the weather. It delivers nightmares to one's sleep. For a time, screams tore through the night as folk awoke in terror. When it appeared to me, I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. She was... love. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? 
Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... I can't wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose. Oh. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our talk. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Those are some bitchin' tattoos on the hands. Oh. My Charles, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. There's some creepy sounds in that cemetery. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. be the school house more rats
Oh, it's dark. What the? Why are you playing with a mouth organ? thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to it. You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. Yeah. That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, you <laughs> wouldn't You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a... What did he call it? A nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. Ooh. <laughs> Firebane. She says I'm the reckless one. So that's what that's called, a firebane. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? Who's there? Antea? Why did you go up there alone? The fucking super moon. I'm hoping. Antea! I suppose you spectres have seen Antea, have you?
Oh, camera, stop oh, fucking me. Uh, you're the boss and all, but you could have included me. But be creaking. I know they're ghosts, but when you hit them, it kind of feels like there's no weight behind your your hits. But again, they're ghosts. They're not supposed to... I don't know what point I'm trying to make. A chance. Antea, you hot? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, hello. Will you slay the righteous? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where is Antea? What have you done with her? That was pause. Lady, if you hurt her, you cling to love. A fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. I am willing to negotiate. Take that, bitch! Okay... Oh, that hurt a lot!
Okay. Where's Anthea? If you've laid a finger on her... You're what? Come to her aid? There is no aid. There is only... Retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your marrow, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. Ooh. No! Will you come to her aid now, when all is lost? If you do, I'll be waiting. That's fucking creepy. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Week? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. 
Tend him and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? Of course it matters. It means you're alive and you haven't given up. Who sent you? Her name is Ceridian, and my hands and words are hers. Beyond that, don't burden yourself. You should have let me die. What are you, a child? Are they teaching self-pity in Banisher School now? What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. <laughs> have faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you, but my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. You have to repair no, the veil, you idiot. I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Ooh, Manisha. cool. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Oh, you coward. I want to know what it is. Ooh, Origin of the Banishers. So, yeah, I was kind of writing while I was thinking they were kind of like a, a form of an exorcist. In ancient Greece, there were the... Mechagir... Gertes? A cult of wandering beggar priests from place to place they went, singing songs, banging drums, that the spirits of the dead be calmed or set free or exiled. This they did in honor of the long-dead Thracian magician Orpheus, he whose love for Eurydice? Eurydice? Nah was so powerful that he followed her through the land of the dead into the abyss, won her freedom, and near brought her back. As the world grew, so did the knowledge of these sons and daughters of Orpheus. Some did not embrace the new wisdom. They learned not and reigned forever be beggar priests. 
To serve the living, banishers destroy the dead. But they know little. They have forgotten their parentage. They have lost touch with we who see the colors and the shades of all the light and the dark. The good and the bad and everything. The living and the dead. Banishers have their uses as a hammer has its use when a driven a nail must be. But the hammer does not care about the plank or the nail, nor does it understand that it is made of the same wood and iron. Banishers know nothing of the hem, for they are not and might never be one of us. I'm guessing that's a fast travel station. Wow, there's a lot of shipwrecks. All right, with that, guys and gals, uh, we'll end the first episode here. A lot of talking in this episode, but it's the exposition setting up for the story. And now we're alone, so next episode we'll make our way... Yeah, I got the same itchy beard, fella. Make our way back to town and... See what we're going to do from there. Uh, I really like this game so far. It reminds me a lot of The Witcher. And I always kind of wondered if on the next, next Witcher, if they were going to go more into this area where you have, you know, guns, swords, as well as magic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this idea so far. All right, well, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for... More adventures with, uh, well, I guess just red now. Alright, peace out, guys.